Hello everyone, uh, in this video tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use Recon NG. Okay. Recon NG is a reconnaissance tool with the interface similar to Metasploit. Running Recon NG from the command line as you enter a shell-like environment where you can configure option, perform recon, and output the result to a different report types. Okay. As of today, uh, I'm using Kali 2022.1. The version of Recon NG, if I go to information gathering and Recon NG, it come with it, right? So here, the, the version is 5.1.2. Dot one dot two, all right. So this is the latest version that I use. If you're using the version number four, the command are completely different. Okay, so make sure you download uh, and install the latest Kali and verify that you have the latest Recon NG2, which is 5.1 something, right? One of the most challenging thing uh, in the IT field is they keep updating and upgrading their tools on a regular basis. And sometimes it's difficult to, to catch up with all those technologies, okay? So we have to continuously learning uh, all the tools and that's gonna be a lifelong learning, especially for those who dedicate themselves in this field. All right, so let me start with the with the basic command, okay? So if you don't have this module, right? If I click module search like this, right? I have all the module installed already, right? We have a lot of module, okay? Uh, so if you don't have this module installed, uh, you have to run this one. It's called Marketplace Install All. Okay. I will not run this command because I already installed. During the installation process, you may receive an error, be, uh, some of the error like the API, because uh, Recon NG uh, can perform. Uh, Reconnaissance uh, using Shodan. Shodan, uh, Shodan is a search engine for pen testing tools, right? However, you need to have, you need to to pay account. You have to use a paid account to access the API keys uh, for Recon NG. You need to have uh, an account like a paid account, commercial account. Therefore, during the installation, you may not install all of this module. Some of the module may not be there, may not be available. So that's okay. Do not panic with that. All right. I just want to emphasize that. All right. Once you install all the module, then you need to verify whether once you go to the marketplace and install all of the module, you need to verify that module search, right? When you run this command you know that all of is already all of these module are already available all right so let me start with the first one uh, let me see if i can run the first module here uh, what we need to do we need to create a workspace okay the command is this a anyway let's start with the help right this is very important right always use the manual the help key right help when you enter help you have a marketplace here this interface with module available modules right and then module is interface with install module okay uh, what else option manage the current context option all right and then you're gonna have a workspace manage workspace right dashboard display a summary of activity if i click dashboard there 
we don't have anything right now. So I'm gonna go to help again. And then I'm gonna create the workspace. Okay, so work. Workspace. Create. Pen test. Boom, there we go. Oh, I have a typo. Here is case sensitive. And notice that if I have a typo, it will not work. See, this is API because I don't have install API, application programming interface. Okay, so don't panic, it's still working. All right, uh, if you want to use the show done, the commercial account, you can, you will not receive this error, but you need to pay. Okay, so there, so student will get all the API key. Okay, uh, what else there? Uh, Marketplace, marketplace, it's okay. So here, after we create a workspace, uh, let's do a module search, right? I don't know which one that we're gonna use. So earlier, I think I showed it to you, module search. So you see all, uh, not actually marketplace search, right? marketplace search see all all of this is already installed okay so these are all the tools right the command is market search mar marketplace search right you see that status is installed and the version and when is the last updated okay all right so let's do one of the reconnaissance here right uh, we are using publicly available information, so this is fine and legal, okay? So, uh, we're going to use, where is the first one? Let's, let's find the, the contact information, okay? So, we're going to use, uh, what you call that? Uh, Workspace load, right? Workspace load. Modules load. Okay. We're going to use modules load. Okay. Which one they're going to use? The first one, let's find the, the contact information. All right. So I'm going to go there. Uh, contact. We're going to use this. Domain. Where is it? Point of contact. Here. Contact email address. Who is? Where is who is? Contact. Point of contact. Contact domain. Here we go. Point of contact. All right. So I'm going to use this module. We have to look at slowly because if we are not used to with this tool, it's going to take a while. All right. So it's a learning curve. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to find the contact information for this CompTIA, okay? Modules load, that is the command. Enter, okay? Now we're gonna see show option. Uh, not show option, it's actually option. Uh, set source. And then CompTIA, this is the name of the domain, ORG, enter is invalid let me see what's the problem here uh, option set here did i make a mistake here mm. I, don't, I don't think i make a mistake so let me find out here who is info Info source is not there yet. 
source so we need to use option that's true option option set sources comptia.org invalid name hmm let me find out all right mm. let me see if i can just use set set sources here no all right so let me let me pause this video first i don't want you to 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 wait for me while i'm troubleshooting this uh let me see pause okay i may have a typo earlier so this is what i'm gonna do i am going to run this uh let me see i'm going to set option source i'm I try to use Tesla now, okay? Option search Tesla, option set source Tesla. Enter, okay? If I go to info, now I have all the information there. The current value is Tesla. If I run this, boom, there we go. I find all the contact information about Tesla, right? Notice that I have 14 of them, okay? I find Terry Chi, live in Portland. And I find this is his email address, right? Who else I find? Let's say if Elon Musk there. Oh, I find Elon Musk here. This is his email address, right? Elon dot Musk at Tesla dot com. He live in Palo Alto. Actually, he live in Brownsville now. Okay. Anyway, uh, he might have a secretary to do this thing. Okay. All right. So now you understand about the point of contact, right? So let's find another one here. So let me find Comtia because I think I'm trying to find the Comtia early, right? ORG. There we go. Now if I click info, now I have Comtia.org. If I click run, boom, there we go. Now I find. Okay. Because Tesla is a big company, so you see a lot of contact, point of contact. Okay, but Comtia, we only have five, right? Let's see one of them. Who is this? Uh, Jay Rosen, right? Jeff Rosen, right? This is maybe one of the executive over there. This is his email address, all right? If I scroll it down, we have uh, Robert Winchester in Downers Grove, Illinois. This is his email address, okay? So notice that uh, Recon NG is a very powerful tool. And I have this information, okay? My comment, all right? Uh, search, marketplace search, right? This is some of the command that you, you can use. I will put my note in the, in the blackboard, all right? Uh, this is not source. This is where I have a typo, okay? option set source and then the organization name all right so you can use tesla or any organization that you want to do all right so let's do one more here uh let's find about how about social media pression right social media pression uh, so i'm gonna use this uh let me see this is the social media is called profiler identify the organization's social media presence so i'm gonna use uh, recon profile where is recon profile here recon profile right i'm gonna use this one basically i like to identify and find the presence of that company all right in the social media so i'm gonna run this module load and then i'm gonna use this module profiler and then i'm gonna see click the info first nothing okay i need to put the value there what is the value set option comtia okay enter now if i click info I already have the value now let's run it run boom there we go now we see we find all the social media pressure about comtia 
in all of the available sites. The green one is where they are present, okay? If it's blue, they just do searching. The green one is when they find out about it. They, we find three profile, right? So we're gonna do it slowly there. Uh, let's see how we're gonna find it. So we find three profile found okay so if i scroll it up let's find out here okay we found this in the open street map right this is the website username is comtia that's the first one let's find another one you see the green okay we find it here under internet archive user search right we find the username comtia this is the website the green color you notice that the green color that mean Recon NG is successfully find the social media presence of that. Okay? So let me do one more time here. So let me use hacker target, right? Let me use this module. The name of the module is Domain Host. Uh, hacker target let's use this one right recon domain so there are a lot of module student can choose one of this module I'm gonna copy and then I'm going to use uh, module load make sure you need to load that uh, enter uh, and then I need to do set option uh, source comtia right dot org you can use tesla if you like so let's use tesla dot com did i have a typo okay then i'm gonna click info all right now no it's not there yet so here info set set of option set this is i have a typo again see option set so we have to read and type carefully now here tesla info therefore whenever i run a comment i usually review or double check make sure that i do not uh misspell or have a typo so now i just verify that the source is tesla info and then let's run it see what the host in tesla see now we find the host right we find 35 hosts found and all of this about tesla mf mobile dash dev and this is the ip address and you have mf user dev development department tesla.com and this is the ip address well as you notice that uh, recon ng is a powerful tool okay so please take time to learn and review uh, this video and material carefully again this uh, video in, uh, uh, demonstration is for educational purpose only okay uh, always test test on your virtual environment or temporary environment that you belongs to uh, however recon ng is actually uh, recon all publicly available information so we don't do anything that is illegal here but uh, 
for any penetration penetration testing material I always make a disclaimer that this is for educational purpose only again verify you use the latest uh, recon ng as of today is 5.1 version if you use the 4 version the comments are a little bit different thank you for watching and have a good day